Hi guys, welcome back to our chapter book, Princess Pulverizer, Grilled Cheese and Dragons. And we're on chapter 10, let's get started. Burp. Princess Pulverizer smiled excitedly as Dribble let out a massive belch. She figured it had to be the loudest, windiest, smelliest burp in the history of the world. And it was exactly what they needed. Crash, clink, clunk, kerplunk. The sheer force of Dribble's giant burp suddenly toppled the ogre's pile of treasures. Cups, bottles, silverware, tea kettles, and other shiny stuff began rain, raining down on the bear and buried the evil ogre. Then it became, began cascading down the stairs in a big, giant avalanche of junk. What's happening? The angry ogre shouted from beneath the giant pile of his precious stolen treasures. Come on, you guys, Princess Pulverizer ordered. We're getting out of here. How? Dribble asked her. We're going sledding, Princess Pulverizer said. Dribble gave her a funny look. How are we going sled? There's no snow here. Princess Pulverizer shook her head. We don't need snow, she told him. We're going to slide right over the ogre, down this moving mountain of junk, and out the front door. I don't like sledding, Lucas said. You can get hurt. One time, I slid right into a fence, and I... Princess Pulverizer didn't have time to listen to Lucas's story. She had to get him moving. So she pushed him head first down the avalanche of junk. Ah! Lucas cried as he bumped and thumped his way over the ogre and down the stairs on his stomach. Your turn, Dribble, Princess Pulverizer said. Hurry! Dribble didn't need a push, which was good since he was way too heavy for Princess Pulverizer to push anyway. The dragon just plopped down on his big green bottom and slid down the stairs along with a gushing river of garbage. Then it was Princess Pulverizer's turn. Hey, you guys, she called as she slid her way to freedom. Look out below. Chapter 11. 